Hi, Allison Cram here. And in this video today, we're going to talk about how to find a niche for affiliate marketing in 2018. And there are three keys that I have to share with you today. And at the end of this video, I have a bonus. So you're going to want to stay to the end. Here on this channel, we're helping you attain a life that is filled with true abundance and fulfillment and freedom. And so I hope that if you're new to my channel, you will click the subscribe button, click the little bell icon so that you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded so you can continue to learn how to build a life of freedom, fulfillment, and abundance for you and your family. Also, if you would give it a thumbs up and comment about your thoughts at the end of the video, I really appreciate that. It's always nice to hear what people think, to have questions asked and to have the opportunity to dialogue with people. So please feel free to comment also at the end of the video. So let's get into our topic for today, how to find a niche for affiliate marketing in 2018. First of all, I want you to understand that finding a niche or a market in, in the online world of business is super important. As a beginner, and when you first start out online, this should be one of the first things that you spend some time on. And it doesn't have to take you years or months or even weeks. It can be done in a short, a fairly short amount of time. And in, in a half hour to an hour, you can really uh, get a significant amount of direction for yourself. But it's really important to find that niche right from the beginning because this is the foundation upon which you're going to build so many other things in your business. How you market, where you market, who your target audience is, so many different things, the kinds of products you're going to market. And so there are, there, it's really important to know your niche right from the building. Really, this is kind of your business plan. This is going to have a huge uh, impact on your business model. And so right at the beginning, you want to find out what that niche is. Key number one is to understand why it's important to find that niche that's right for you. And basically, there's one main reason. You are going to be spending a whole lot of time focused on whatever your niche is. And so if you really don't like gardening, I wouldn't encourage you to choose a gardening niche. You might want to go with something that you enjoy doing in your free time, riding motorcycles or going boating or maybe you like the the niche of making money online or health or fitness um, whatever it is that you're passionate about and that you are interested in and that you just you can never get enough of it when you sit down to watch youtube this is what you go to to look at on youtube uh, when you look for books to read this is the kinds of books that you look at to read and so finding that niche that is something that you're passionate about, that you enjoy, that you love talking about, you love sharing information with people, you love learning about it, that's so important. And the reason is that through this journey of online marketing and, and building an income online, there are going to be peaks and there are going to be valleys. There are gonna be times when you are so motivated and so excited to get into your office to get to work and there are gonna be times when it's really kind of the last thing you really wanna be doing but you know you got to do it if you're going to keep moving forward in your business. And so it's easier to motivate ourselves when it's something that we really enjoy and that we're passionate about. I love this niche of affiliate marketing online. And the reason is because I see the potential it has to change people's lives exponentially in so many areas, in their health, in their relationships with their family, in their day-to-day -day life, and in their, their financial status. And so for me, I love learning more about this whole idea of affiliate marketing and making money online because I see it's an opportunity for me to help other people. And I see it's an opportunity for me to share with them how they can have financial freedom and time freedom. And so make sure that as you find this niche, you find something that you're excited about sharing with other people. The second key to finding the right niche is to know how to monetize your niche. And the reason that this is important is because every niche has ways 
that you can monetize it, but some of them are different. And so as you're looking for the right niche, and look at how are you going to best be able to monetize that. Is it through a product that you would sell on Amazon or a website or through affiliate marketing? Is it something where you're going to be doing training courses? Is it something where you need to have a high tech uh, skill set or what, it, what, how exactly are you going to be able to monetize that? And as you continue to build your authority around that niche, as you continue to build your brand around that niche, you will see more and more and more opportunities coming available for how you can monetize your knowledge and your understanding and your expertise in that area. And you will probably do it in multiple ways. I know many people who they not only have a presence on YouTube, they also have a presence on Facebook and Instagram. They also have a presence on Shopify and, and in ClickBank. And so they have their own products sometimes. So there's many different ways that you can, through blogging, there's many different ways that you can monetize your expertise and your knowledge as it continues to grow. Um, every niche or market has a lot of different ways to do that. And so as you're learning, just make sure that you take some time to understand how is this niche being monetized so that you're open to, um, to getting involved in those technical details of marketing. Every niche is marketed a little bit different. And so you're going to want to develop the skills and strategies and techniques that specifically are a good fit for your niche or your market. And the other thing about finding that right niche is, and knowing how to monetize it, is to know how to really focus in on that niche. So what I mean by that is there's a market. Let's say the market is health. And then there's the niche and then there's the sub niche. So the market might be health. Your niche in health might be weight loss. It could be fitness. It could be exercise. It could be bodybuilding. It could be um, preventing diabetes, but health has a lot of different niches available in it. And so let's say that you choose the market of health for your niche, you choose weight loss. Well, that's a huge market. There are hundreds of thousands of people out there that are promoting products and lotions and programs and, and coaching and all different kinds of things for weight loss. So you want to be able to find a sub niche so you can really set yourself aside from the competition and set yourself aside from the crowd so that so that you have a particular niche that is unique for you that you can really get focused but you do want to be create a unique market for yourself as something that you're really focused on and interested in um, another example would be wealth maybe you're interested in making money and so you look at the make money online um, niche and from that make money online niche, you narrow it down a little bit to how to make money on YouTube. And so you're going to focus on showing people how to make money on YouTube so that you just narrow that down a little bit. Key number three is to figure out your niche. And there's three easy steps for how to figure out your niche. First of all, grab a piece of paper, open up your computer and open up a Word document and just start brainstorming. And when you're brainstorming, write down all the things you like to do, all the things that you're passionate about, all the things that you've um, taken classes in that you really enjoyed. Um, but really go to those things that when, like I said earlier, when you sit down to watch YouTube, what do you look for on YouTube? When you sit down to uh, go to the bookstore or to get on amazon.com and find a book, what section do you go to? What are the books that you're looking for? And so just start writing all those things down. Maybe it's sailing, maybe it's motorcycles. Find those things and just write down, brainstorm those things. And then the second thing you're gonna wanna do is recognize that you don't have to be a guru. You don't have to be an expert at whatever it is you choose. It might just be that you're sharing with people your journey. Let's say you choose weight loss or you choose fitness and you want to choose, maybe it's muscle building. You decide you want to, you want to build muscle. And so you're going to document your journey and share with people the things that you've learned along the journey to save them time, to save them frustration, to, to help them to 
to accomplish their goals even faster. And so it's a process and you don't have to be an expert before you can share and you can learn how to help other people with it. Um, so yeah, start your brainstorming and just write down whatever it is that comes to your mind. Then once you've got a few, narrowed it down to maybe two or three different things, then get online and start researching. See how much uh, competition is out there. See, so go to YouTube. Let's say that you're looking at um, raw vegan weight loss. And so go to YouTube, type in how to lose weight as a raw vegan. See what other channels are out there. See who has large um, subscriber lists and see and look and see what are they doing on their channels. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. There are many people, no doubt, if it's a niche that's really a marketable niche, there are going to be people who are already doing very well in that niche. And so you just need to kind of set yourself aside a little bit. Um, you don't want to find a niche where there's nothing about it out there because what that means is there's probably not that much of an interest and you could put a lot of time and energy and investment of yourself into making it happen and then it just falls flat because there's just not that much interest out there. And so get online, Google the niche that you're thinking about, look up on YouTube the niche you're thinking about, go to Facebook, look at and see what groups are available there, look on Instagram, what are people posting about it, how are they monetizing it, how are they promoting it, what are the things that they are utilizing, what are, is it e-commerce, is it a Shopify store, is it Amazon.com, is it a Kindle store, or is it writing books, what, what is the format that they are most effective at monetizing that niche with. And so that's what you want to do some research about. And then once you get your niche in mind, um, just start laying the foundation and be sure that you start with the end in mind. Make sure that when you pick that niche, that you see a clear path to how, even if it's not immediately how down the road, you can continue to monetize that. So here's the bonus. The three most profitable niches or markets online are health, wealth building, and relationships. And you start Googling in any of these different areas, you look up on YouTube in any of these different areas, and there is a plethora of channels and Instagram streams and all kinds of Facebook pages out there about health wealth building or online marketing or online business building and relationships. And there's all kinds of sub niches with niches within that. So if you're new to affiliate marketing or any type of online marketing, I'd like to share with you my number one recommended training program for how to have success online. It takes this topic we're talking about today, how to find the right niche. It takes how to set up your autoresponder, how to set up your business, how to have the proper mindset. It takes you step by step through the process of setting up an online business from making nothing to making $10,000 a month or $100,000 or a million dollars. And it'll take you step by step through that process, literally while you look over the shoulder and look at the computer screen of a multi-million dollar online earner. And he's been doing this a long time and he shows you exactly how he's setting up a new business and he shows you click by click step by step exactly how to do it. And so if you're looking to get started in online marketing, I would urge you to click the link in my bio for my number one recommended training program for how to have success and build a full-time income online. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you got some value from this video. If so, once again, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to learn how to build an online business so that you can have a life full of abundance and freedom and fulfillment, then please click that, click that subscribe button and click the bell. And if you would share this with somebody else that you think might also gain value from it. So again, thank you for watching. This is Allison Cram. I'm saying so long. Have a blessed day and please don't ever give up on your dreams.